I didn't mean to just start recording when she was talking. Anyways, what's up guys? Angle Spankin' here. Today we're playing as Fizz, the, uh, the flop fish in the mid lane. And, as he said, he's going to invade red, then probably gonna... Cool, okay. Anyways, um, as many of you know, I'm going on a vacation for a week to Jamaica. Um, and that'll be happening tomorrow. So, this will be the last live video. Well, live as in, like, I record it the day it gets uploaded. They'll be uploaded for a week. But, since we, since I love you guys so much, I, um, I decided that I would record a video for every day that I'm gone and upload them unscheduled. So, not only will I be able to have a week-long vacation, but you guys won't have to go a week without my videos. So you'll get a video for every day that I'm gone, and then I'll be back and everything will be normal. Just because I love you guys so much. Anyways, let's go ahead and go on with this. Um, looks like top lane will be Trindamir versus Zed with Exhaust. So Zed is looking for really killing him. Um, especially in duels. And I guess he got lucky taking Exhaust versus Trindamir. Exhaust is really good against a lot of top lanes. Or I'm the one that's going to get exhausted. Okay, never mind. Um, they lane swapped. Looks like I'm playing Fizz versus. Oh, I forgot to get a skill. Whoops. <laughs> but looks like I'm playing uh, Fizz versus Zed. So, well, this just throws off my whole game plan. I don't know if this will be easier or harder for uh, for either of us, since I'm gonna have to be deal with the uh, with the Zed. But Trinity is gonna have to. Friggin Trimmer's gonna be against a friggin Oh my god. I don't even know right now. Boop. Mm, he's level two, so he's just gonna jump over this wall. Yep. Or he's just gonna jump backwards like that. But I was really hoping he would wait till I was level two. But I guess he was really, really antsy. And it looks like their jungler started to red, and I guess that's fine because their jungler is nocturne. But um yeah, oh well. Still not sure how differently or how easily this will go for us, but I hope it goes really easily for Trinmere since he got he gets to go against a freaking Ziggs. Um But we'll find out, we'll find out. Anything can happen, I've seen weirder things happen before. And he's definitely getting a lot of poke off on me, but I'm trying to wait until I'm level three before I go in on anything. Cause I wanna have my trickster. That way I can poke him and get out. And it looks like our jungler's in trouble. All right, both of us, both of us in mid were trying to follow, but you know, Nocturne disengaged before anything happened. Uh, pretty much because Shaco deceived, but that's fine. Oh man, I'm tired. Sorry, I had to get up early so I can be on a normal sleep schedule because my flight is my flight leaves at six in the morning. So I'm looking forward to that. And since Zed is pushing my lane, I'm I'm just not even gonna bother. No, go away, go away for right now. Just go away for right now. I don't need no gunk at the moment. Um, soon, soon though. All right, he's going top to gank Ziggs. I guess he's gonna try at least. Hey, look, I still got that. All right, just go ahead and dodge that. I'm just gonna walk away because it was pretty obvious he was gonna try and use his W to hit me with that. And then the thing with you know Z Mr. Fizz right here is if you hit just early enough. You can actually get your dot to get all the CS done for you. So you don't have to miss these. I'm gonna ping these missing, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I wouldn't say never mind. Looks like Botlane got first blood, and that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just dash out of here. Use my potion. Uh, I definitely lost that trade. Actually, I don't know. We both have no potion now. But it's hard to say. I think I can trade a lot more frequently than he can. So if he misses another trade, I'm gonna go in on him. And he just uses Shuriken and his E, but I'm not going to do anything with it. The problem is, um, Z I'm not very good with Fizz, and I don't know how to use Fizz against Zed in the first place. So that's where the problem lies. I'm going to go ahead and ping and see if I can get Shaco to come in for a gank. Looks like Shaco's coming. <sighs> and I'm going to go ahead and go in on this guy. He saw me coming because I went just a bit too early. That was my fault. My fault. Um, it kind of can be a hard matchup, the way he just asked, or the, to him he just asked. But 
No, I went too early. If I didn't go as early, he wouldn't have seen it coming. And he would have just backed off a little. Or wouldn't have backed off so fast. But I made the gank obvious by going so early. So that was entirely my fault. And I just stepped into that. So I'm going to go ahead and poke him a little bit. And just get out. That way, uh, I saw him use his Q and then his clone. Let's see. And there goes his... Shuriken again. I need to really pay attention if I want to out-trade him in this matchup. I'm finding that out very rapidly. Um, but he has okay, he has his ultimate now, which I need to be careful for. I've got my ultimate too now, so I might actually be able to all-in him. If I land my ult. Alright, there goes his clone. I'm going to throw my ultimate at him. That nailed him. And I'm just going to do a bunch of damage to him. And dodge his ultimate, but let's get out of there. <sighs> All right, that is good to know. That was what I was nervous about. Uh, I used my ignite, but he used his exhaust. It looks like Shaco's going for the kill. Gonna get him. Good job, Shaco. Well done. Well done. If you guys don't know this, though, shit, 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 shit. I'm coming. I'm coming. If he wanted to, I was here. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna go back now, though. Because he was only level 4, but I was level 6, and we hedge. Not even. We... C the hell? Okay, I guess I went over. We could have killed, but it's fine. I actually just lost a lot of time because I interrupted him a recall twice. That's actually bad. I could have been back in lane already. <laughs> but whatever. It's not a huge deal. I'm actually going to get a Seeker's Arm Guard. And I'm just going to get 2 potions and 3 wards. Instead of boots or anything... Um, the Seeker's Arm Guard literally just for Zed and Nocturne, because they're both AD and they'll both be hurting me with only physical damage. So more armor would be good. It looks like he's rushing a Blade of the Rune King, which is also fun. It looks like he also wants to give us blue. The problem with that is as far as I know with this matchup, I'm not going to be able to just trade whenever I want. I have to trade strategically. And that depends on when he uses his skills, but it looks like he wants me to have blue, so I'm going to run over here and get that. And I should be able to just leap this wall. Whoop! 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 Ah! T.Y. Alright, there we go. I'm leveling up my W, because, um... Actually, because I don't know why. Because I, I feel like it's personally faster harass. Um... Oh, man. And it makes it so I can uh, trade with him a bit easier more frequently. I'm gonna go ahead and ping that he's missing. Never mind, he is not. Never mind again. <laughs> and let's just oh, miss that CS. Perfect. All right, Zed is only up by eight CS on me, and this would have been a good time to trade if I was paying attention, but I wasn't. So sucks. Um, well, let's just keep our head in the game. I need to ward soon, which is what I'm gonna go do. There goes the Shirk. I'm gonna ward right now. I'm gonna ward right here. Cause Sebastian says to. I'm just going to go like that and see if I can get him away from the minions right now. Because if I can actually zone him a little bit, that would be good as well. Because he's using only his clone and his, uh, his shuriken to creep score, and that's not good for him. That means he's missing a lot. And there we go. This will be a good trade for me. There we go. There's some good damage off on him for no damage taken on my part. <sighs> Now that I'm dodging his skill shots, this is a lot easier. Now that I'm do also doing a lot more damage, this is a lot easier. And we'll sit here and just keep doing this to him. Looks like Nocturne's ulting, probably going up top. Um, I was correct, he is up top. And I, I guess he was trying to do it to eliminate vision or something. I'm not sure. Whoa, what is this guy doing? Alright, I'm going to throw my ult. Miss! Fuck. Whoops. I forgot that Fizz ult lands exactly where you throw it. I forgot. Yeah. I, <laughs> I forgot that Fizz ult goes exactly where you throw it instead of just following the line. That was entirely my fault. Um, if I had landed that, that would have been an easy kill on him. But, it, no, if I landed that, was my fault, dude. That was all me. Hey, I landed that, he was dead. And I should be going a lot more aggressive on this guy whenever he comes closer to me like that. But for some reason, I'm not. Alright, gotta remember that Fizz ult doesn't just stop. Or doesn't just keep going. But, um... Duly noted. 
Alright, at least we're doing fine. Uh, I'm not ahead of him in CS yet, and I don't think I will be for a little bit. Um, but as long as I keep CSing, we'll be fine. And if I actually keep zoning him like this, it'll be even more fun. I do have not, I do not have my blue anymore. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump out. So even if he fears me, I'll be feared under tower. Like it doesn't matter. And that's what I need to do. let her ward over there. I thought I'd be safe to ward since he just or not to ward since he just died, but I guess not. What are you What are you waiting for? I made that too obvious. I'm running like straight at him instead of waiting until Shaco goes, which is a, is kind of a problem because I can get on people really quickly. Um, so that's not really important. I do have my ultimate up again, so hopefully we don't have to whiff it. It's like Zed wanted the last hit on that turret. Right, I'm coming over to help. No, I'm not. I'm gonna come ward this though. I'm on my way to help. Oop. All right, let's see if I can, if I can land this. Shit. Yes, that's not gonna kill him though. No. Oh my god, I friggin' landed it and it didn't kill him. I'm so mad. All right, whatever. No fear. <sighs> I was hoping it would kill him, but it didn't. Damn it. Not a big deal. I just won't have it for fighting Zed. Uh, if I'm, if I react fast enough too. Like this, Zeg can't ult me. Zeg absolutely cannot ult me. So that is, that's something really, really good I'm finding out about Fizz right now. If you time your E, Zeg cannot ult you. Like he absolutely can't do it. I just found that out. And I am now very afraid of Fizz that know what they're doing when I'm playing against, or playing a Zed. Because as you can see, every time I use my E, as soon as he's like flying onto me, the mark doesn't get applied. He can't ult me. All he can use his ultimate on me for is mobility. That's all he can use it for, and that's actually hilarious. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna shove this wave just a bit more. Uh, plop right there. Go ahead and kill these with my W up so they die faster. Kill these guys. Oh, Zed's already back. Damn, dude. He got back fast. Alright, but I need to go back. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get boots. Um, probably a second Doran's Ring, Blasting Wand, and some wards. That'd be boots, Doran's Ring, Blasting Wand, wards. Yep. I'm gonna try and interrupt me. It's not gonna work. Let's see. This. Boots. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna get that. I'm just gonna get two wards and three potions then. Oh, I guess I'm getting four potions. Okay. My clicking finger gets really antsy sometimes, so I guess I get extra potions. I don't think he's gonna be able to push down my tower entirely by the time or before I get there, but he's definitely gonna be doing a lot of damage to it. So that kind of sucks for me, but he's not gonna get it down. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty low though. Um, nailed him with the ultimate. Let's go get him. He's dead. I don't want to tank this tower for too long. I'm going to poke him and he's going to die. And we're going to get out. There we go. He used both of his summoner spells. I used both of my summoner spells. Good job to Shaco as well for coming when he did. And that will be a kill. I'm going to make use of these four potions and start using them. I'll just, I'll actually just take up all four of them. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to go war because I don't want to get caught off by uh, Nocturne coming in from one of these areas. Nocturne was coming through the front anyways. So it didn't really matter. It looks like this bot lane is just destroying people, so that's good. Uh, Sona Ash, in my opinion, isn't very strong other than for Pope, where, you know, the only reason that's not really working for them right now is because we have Caitlyn Thresh, which is even stronger <laughs> for poking, in my opinion. Because Caitlyn is the longest base range AD carry, and I got, I'm going to award for them to let them know that Nocturne's coming down. Or not ward, but ping for them. And then Thresh is just ridiculously strong at poking, so, you know, there's that whole biz. Ow. Dick. Dick. Stop. Alright, he's gonna actually start poking me really hard. If I let him, that is. Okay, he wasn't trying to even hit me with that one, he was just trying to get the minion. Good guy, whatever your face is. Zed. Let's see, we have pretty much... We haven't... 
Oh, that was bad. All right, well, I'm still going to get out just fine. It won't do, like, any damage to me. I didn't E early enough to get out of his ult, so I have no idea why he just ulted me. But, um, whatever. I still avoided every bit of damage he was going to do to me during that ultimate, so whatever, no big deal. Um, and this will be mine. Here we go. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Since you have no ultimate... I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him, but I could probably do a lot of damage to him if I do this. And whoop, whoop, there we go. There's a bunch of damage off on him. He can't really retaliate right now. And now, now he's going to be pretty scared too. Like he's got potions ticking, so he's not really going to be as aggressive for a little while. So I feel like, I, I didn't do that to try and kill him obviously, but I really wanted to get some damage off on him and that was good. I'm gonna go ward over here real fast. If he starts following me, then I know I'm running into a gank. If he doesn't, then I'm no problem. But all of his potions he used are ticking up, and my ultimate will be up in 40 seconds again. So no big deal there. I, I can't leave right now. I hope he knows that. I can't really... I can't really leave my lane right now. Alright, just take it, just take it. Is he gonna just take it? Okay, good. He just took it. Good. He made the right choice, because I can't, I can't leave right now. Is that gonna try and ult me? If he does, he's just gonna be met with, uh, whoop! That was not what I meant to do. Trigger finger! Alright, this tower is going down. I can't stop it. Um, shit, you need to get out. I can't help you. Okay, well, I just didn't dodge that. Um, ah! Alright, damn it. Boop. Boop. Boink! Yeah! There we go. I kept him around long enough so Caitlyn could kill him. Good job. I was hoping... I was hoping Shaco would be able to get away. He wasn't, sadly. But I tried to do as much as I could to help him without dying. Because I don't want to die myself trying to uh, just save him. But it happens. At least... At least we still killed Nocturne, and now Nocturne doesn't have the blue. Caitlyn does, and of of course working on to my Lich Bane, because that's a pretty pretty core item on Fizz, and by pretty core item I mean it's like one of the most essential items there possibly can be. I'm gonna go ahead and ping the. Okay. I guess I'm not gonna ping. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Instead of pinging, I alt tabbed and it knocked me out of my game. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. What I'm puzzled about right now, I mean, he's destroying him in farm. Absolutely murdering him in farm. I just don't know how Trinomir is not killing him. Maybe, maybe that's the plan. Maybe he's not trying to win in farm. Or, I mean, in kills. He's just trying to out farm because he knows he can. It's. Who knows? Who knows? But I was just noticing that, um... He goes, oh, never mind. Speak of the devil. Trinomir decided he wanted to kill Ziggs. Trinomir will kill Ziggs. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh my god, this Zed is just juking everywhere. There we go. There's a bunch of damage off on him. Ah, <sighs> This lane is going a lot better than I thought. I'm, I've learned a lot uh, about these specific champions. Or this specific champion in lane. I knew a lot about Zed, but I didn't know much about Fizz. Looks like there goes Zed. Yeah, he's just gonna... Oh, z friggin'! Oh man, I missed that. All right. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so. What the hell? What the hell? Oh shit! I'm gonna flash and poke him and get out. All right. What the hell? Wait a minute. He almost outplayed me. But the fact that I still have my flash up because I just watched him use his, uh, it was able for it, was, it made me able to kill him still, even though I used a lot just to do that. I was still able to get him. And it looks like Ash is up here as well. I saw, I know Thresh is up here. Obviously, Thresh is up here. Thresh landed some an ama or not some. Thresh landed an amazing grab just now to keep Zed in place. I missed my ultimate because for some reason I thought his grab would last for freaking ever, so I threw it where he was grabbed at. So that was entirely my fault. Um, I know Sona doesn't have her ultimate, but I'm pretty positive I couldn't kill her if I jumped on her. So I'm just going to leave it be. I could probably do some damage. Turn to me is getting really big now. Like, really big. Um, he's 4-0 with 166 farms, so we've got some gigantic lanes right now. 
Uh, Caitlyn's 5-0. and I'm 2 2 All Everyone on the team is doing fantastically, so that's looking really good. The score is currently 15-2. to Everyone everyone is just all around doing really well. It looks like Zed is over at top right now, so I don't need to really worry about... No fear. Don't really need to worry about getting attacked on here. But I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to kill as many of these as I can, as fast as I can. Go ahead and just use my E to dodge the tower hit, and then use it to kill the range minions. And we should be able to get this tower down. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to get this tower down. And that'll be good for me. Zed's no, nowhere near. Um, so free turret for me. And now I can start roaming a bit easier. I should have been roaming a lot earlier, but the fact that Zed was applying a decent amount of pressure to the point where he was almost always on my tower, it made it a little hard for me to roam. But even even without me roaming, all the lanes were still winning, so I'm not too concerned. Whoa, I'm not on my way. Okay, I thought I thought the rest of my team was in trouble. Never mind. Um, <laughs> never mind. I'm gonna say never mind, so they know I was totally joking. And I'm gonna go back and grab my Lich Bane and my Sorcerer Shoes. So this way I can um, keep on with getting more and more damage. This will give me quite a lot of damage. And this will give me quite a lot of penetration. And then I'll just grab two wards just for the sake of having wards in my inventory that I can set down whatever I need. And Tremere's going big. Looks like Tremere's, yeah, Tremere got him slowed. Shaco's there. That's a very dead ziggs. Very, <laughs> very dead ziggs. <laughs> It was actually funny because even if they didn't kill him that fast, Ziggs actually jumped the wrong way with his uh, with his bomb. So, like I said, even if he had actually jumped the correct way, he would have still killed himself pretty much. So sad to say for Ziggs, but he was he was a goner. And I decided I'd just take our blue. I knew Shaco wouldn't mind. Looks like Shaco will actually get out with that just fine too. Nice. I'm actually just gonna come down here and help uh, help Caitlyn push. Because the, the rest of the team doesn't need me. With uh, with a huge Chindamir. And a huge Shaco up there. Actually, I guess it's just Chindamir now. And you're dead. Later. The power of Fizz with Lich Bane. Because the, uh, the Q applies the Lich Bane effect. And it looks like they're surrendering. So, GG. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like it in a favorite. It really helps me out. Um, I know I started this kind of early, sorry. <laughs> but also, if you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!